Hey, do you hear me? Good. Hi, this is Frankie. Are you ready for our new job? I know, I know. You are not a fan of rush work, but our payment will be quite good. And your family needs money, so... Well, we can make an exception. Okay, your job is simple. Owner has left the city, so you can get into the house, find a trinket, and get out. That's it. My job is to guide you through this, so you can avoid every possible problem. Do you understand? Excellent. Let's get you ready. There was a camera near your headphone. Attach it to your shirt. Yes, that's it. Now I see the room. Not bad. Okay. You also need a flashlight. It's in the garage behind the next door. Okay, I turned off the light. Find a flashlight and just wander around here. Get used to working in the dark. Well, the flashlight is new, so you don't have to constantly look for batteries. <laughs> like last time. Turn it on. Check out how it works. Good. Now, inside the house you'll find an alarm system. It's an old one, but I want to be sure you'll be ready. Find the wire cutters and the screwdriver, and I'll show you what to do next. Screwdriver is in one of the upper cabinets. Already found a wire cutter. Well done. Screwdriver over on a table in one of the cabinets. Problem? Look at the cabinet over the table. Okay, I set up a training fuse box to the right of the gate. It's almost a perfect copy of a real alarm system. And now you're gonna turn it off. There it is! My masterpiece! Remove the bolts and open it. I need to see what's inside on the camera. Wait a second. Uh, I have a problem with the picture. Ha! Here it is! Grab the cutters and carefully cut the blue wire. Don't touch the white one. Do you get it? I'll repeat. Cut the blue wire. So you can follow basic instructions. Congratulations. Okay, now we are ready. It's time to move. Get into your car, and I'll tell you where to go. Nice place, don't you think? If I were rich, I'd live here too. There's a lot of pricey stuff there. Pay no attention to them. We only have one evening to find our goal. A piece of jewelry called the Heart of Fog. Only one attempt. We can't go back if something goes wrong. Go to the entrance. Right next to you, you'll find a fuse box. This is the alarm system. We have an electronic lock here. The system is a bit more complicated than our training fuse box, but the base principle is the same. Just cut the blue wire and you can go in. Blue 
wire! Blue! Damn, cut everything! Okay. Good. Whew. I checked the line. There was no signal to the police. Move on. Okay. The door is open. Get in. Let's play this fast and clean. You enter, you take what we need, and then you leave. This thing is on the ground floor inside the office. Move quietly, be careful, and no one will ever know that you were here. First, find the kitchen. If my blueprints are correct, you need to go through it to get to the office. The former family of our bachelor. Hey, this kid looks just like yours. I'm not implying anything, but maybe your wife knew this guy. <laughs> Don't be so mad. I'm just kidding. Ah, look at the right. There's a light behind the door. We should probably go there. Notice that there's not a single knife in this kitchen? The man is too paranoid. Is he afraid that someone will get inside and kill him while he's... Well, shit! Okay, uh, it's okay. He probably just likes to make sausages or something like that. Uh, the owner is a hunter, so... It's okay. Yeah, the owner probably forgot to clean before leaving. Move, we must hurry. Good. Look for a study. Inside you'll find a safe. Focus on that. Unattended fire. I guess that sooner or later, this home is gonna burn. Look at this shit! They have a VCR with a power cord that goes through the wall! Couldn't they make a normal socket? Wait, this is not a power cord. It's something else. Wait! No, it's all right. Do you hear music? Where is it coming from? The bedroom. Look around. Maybe you'll find something useful. The ring of his wife. Either she left him or just disappeared. I can't really remember. The cleaning lady has probably left it working. A toilet? 
Didn't I tell you to do your business before work? By the way, I'll be right back. Dark. This is really weird. I have a very bad feeling about this. Okay, here is a study. Now you need to find a safe. A former soldier. I heard he came back from service all in chemical burns. Maybe that's why his wife left. We are not taking the medal. Yes, here is where our trinket lies. Open the safe, grab it, and you can go home. Nice! Now grab this trinket and we can leave. What? 
What's happening? Hold your breath and look for a way out. <laughs> Come on, there must be another way out. <laughs> Leave now. <clears throat> easy, easy. Is everything okay? Did you get it? There seems to be no gas here. Good. What was that? Come on. I need to get you out. I knew there was an extension, but... I never thought it looked like this. What's its purpose? Do not open the doors! Don't even come close to them! And all of it is- Wait, it could be a way out. Open the box. Let's see if we can open the door. Don't move, let me see. The fuses are down. Okay, not a big deal. Uh, this model uses standard fuses, so... He made this extension by himself, right? Somewhere here should be an electrical fuse box. You need to find it and take the fuses. Yes, that should work. Here is the box. Take out the fuse. Everything is fine, don't worry. Just go to the door, insert the fuse into the panel, and get out of here. Now, we must look for a way out, and... <coughs> hey! Are you okay? Listen to my voice! We must get out! <gasps> Shit! Run, run, run! Go! Be quiet! 
quiet. Quiet. kitchen wasn't a safe path. We probably could take the other path. <laughs> hey, hey! Do you hear me? Why have you stopped? Anyway, so we need to find an old necklace. It lies somewhere in the master bedroom on the second floor. Be careful. You only have one attempt. We can't go back if something goes wrong. It's time to start. I heard the owner hides his spare keys near the entrance, so it'd be pretty easy. Great! It'll be easier than I thought. According to my blueprints, the master bedroom is on the second floor. Look for the stairs. The former family of our bachelor. Hey, this kid looks just like yours. I'm not implying anything, but maybe you're- Wow. Half of my house can fit in here. Or the whole of yours. You can even see the second floor. Okay, moving on. You must find the stairs. This looks like a fake to me. Let's move. We came for a different thing. This is strange, but we don't need to go there, so forget it.
So, we need to... Necklace. It belongs to an ex-wife of the... Start from the bedroom. Shit. Where's this static coming from? Closed. We need to figure out how to get inside. Looks antique. What do you think it's worth? Take a couple of shots. I want to see if it's working. I didn't see it there. Or is it a glitch? Okay, uh, let's move on. You need to find and open the door to the master's bedroom. There should be something on this table. This is not happening. This is insane! recognized artist and photographer and her son. The search continues. We are still waiting for an official statement from the police representative. In the meantime, we express our condolences to the husband of Mrs. <laughs> I have some connection problems here. Okay, let's look in the other rooms. The necklace should be in the bedroom.
Have you noticed the number of pictures? Someone was clearly interested in photography. Or he wanted to capture something specific. I knew that a child used to live here, but why is this the only thing that was left of him? Where is his bedroom or toys? There must be at least something. There's something very strange going on here. Forget it. Forget the necklace. Just look for a way out. You can't stay here anymore. Jump over the balcony and get out of here. Jump? What are you waiting for? Jump! You can't, can't you? Okay. Let's move on. I have interference. I can't hear you. Um.
mannequins. Locked up? But I'm sure we didn't lock it up. We'll find another way out when we're done. Pitcher! Do you hear me? Take a picture!
hear me? It seems that the connection is clear now. Are you okay? What was that? Why they didn't find her. We found what we were looking for. You saw what you wanted. Now you can leave, right? Good. I did some scouting here. Check the main facade and you'll find a small window. It should be open. Get in and I'll tell you what to do next. You know what? I have a feeling that we should look into the basement. Gloomy walls and piles of books. Be afraid of knowledge, buddy. The more you know about the world, the more clearly you see it's monstrous. Try to walk along the corridor. We need a descent down. All answers are waiting for you in the basement. We need to go down. Do you hear noise, or is it just me? Uh, I need to change the headphones. Move this thing aside. Why did they even put it here? There is a rare knife stored somewhere here. At least, it is according to our clients. You'll know it when you see it. Bunks? Why would someone need to leave bunks under a mansion? Is that an immigrant hideout, or what? These chess pieces look kind of strange. Maybe you can use them.
Are you waiting? The door is open. Move! A cave? I'm just seeing things. I... I don't feel well. Do you hear the whisper? This noise. What are we doing here? I remember now. You're saying people, right? We do have a goal. We want to understand who is talking to us. Who is really saying all these lines? This is a natural curiosity. There is nothing unusual. I hear a female voice. She wanted to get her son back. She was lied to. Not exist. Do you hear me? This place is. This place is very important. I want to tell you something. I just can't. All I can hear is this distracting thing. I'm losing my thoughts. Losing. Did I want to say something? Who lights these candles? Is anyone here? Here. belong to those who built this place, and those who came here later.
This is a quiet spot. There is a lot of room to rest. That's what we are looking for. Pull the lever. I can't focus. I hear something constantly. There's someone here. Go back. Now! They will come for me. He must be back. This is he. He is here. Waiting for you. You must. This is his cocoon. Parents had been waiting for their son. But he came instead. is thirsty. Heart and the liver. They were his birthday present. They keep him here. Exactly. They keep him here. I know what to do. This is his liver. Do you want to get out? Get rid of it! He is here.
We have an electronic lock here. This system is a bit more... Oh. Damn! Well, we must do it anyway. At least we must try. Get in. Why is there a fire here? Was it a cleaning lady? Probably. She wouldn't be here at night. Nothing to worry about. Did you manage to open it? Good. But, are you sure that you want to go in there? Do you ever think that necklaces look like collars? It's funny, it's a weird feeling, but I think this dagger can't be real. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. Well then, let's take a walk. You already know the drill. Someone will come, and this someone will try to kill you. The question is, who's it gonna be? Don't think about what you saw. Just look away and ignore it. You always did that very well. You know, there comes a moment in life when you just feel trapped. And when it seems that there's nowhere to go, you'll take any way out. happening in this house? Why am I returning to it? You probably thought a lot about it. Or maybe the opposite. You tried not to think about it at all. Calm down. You've already killed them. Keep going. I've prepared a small surprise just for you. You haven't been here for a long time, haven't you? Every new job began with this car. What were you thinking when you went to that house? Was it, I'm doing this for my family? Or, 
This is the last one for sure. Well, you were right about that. Well, for their sake. Your favorite thought, huh? They never asked you for this. But you were so sure that you stole only because of them. And Adrenaline Rush has nothing to do with it. There's only one thing you need to do before you leave. Let's check how well you remember things. Open the fuse box and cut the blue wire. It was the easiest thing ever. You only had to cut the blue wire. Do you really want to return to your family? Well, maybe you'll find a normal job. Eight hours a day, six days a week. You'll be reliable, consistent, boring. <laughs> no. You've always thought that you were too good for a regular job. I understand. You want to stay with your family. If you decide to abandon the job, I can't stop you. Just leave the earpiece and go. You won't hear about me anymore. Sorry, I was joking. It looks like this house has changed. Now it's mine. What kind of place is it? Have you died or just went crazy in prison? Well, that isn't important. In any case, now you're with me. It couldn't be your fault, right? You can't be wrong. The blue wire wasn't here in the first place. Or maybe you had a partner who gave you the wrong instructions. It couldn't be your fault. You are a good person after all. This just can't be true. Police informed that the suspect in the arson of the home in East London has been detained. It turned out to be a 23-year-old native of London by the name of... The attempted robbery has ended in tragedy when the failed thief tried to turn off the alarm and caused a fire. The resulting fire led to the death of a family of three. Married couple and a child were burnt alive due to the selfish actions of the detainee. The suspect claims that he is not guilty since he didn't know about the presence of the people in the home. After all... It's never his fault. Is it? It's amazing what only a few sparks are capable of. Don't be afraid. It wasn't really your fault. After all, who knows who these people were? Killers. Abusers. Monsters. Come on. Come on with another reason why they should have died. You did it so well before. Let me give you a hint. Who is to blame? What are you imagining in your stories? The husband is guilty in the death of his wife? The wife killed her child? And the child is... I don't know. He was a monster and killed both of them. Let's see if it fits.
acceptance. I didn't expect this to happen. I didn't think we had to say goodbye, but... Farewell. It's a pity that acceptance cannot fix the past. You know you killed them, and you will remember this. No matter what you will imagine next, we will be together. Forever. This demon thing wasn't too much. Was it a good ending? There is no time. I need to leave it as it is. Since when did I start talking to myself? I can't take it anymore. I need to get distracted. Lately, I can't get my childhood out of my head. I don't know why. <laughs> I always knew who I would be when I grew up. My father took care of this. Director of the... Factory. Very powerful person. He had big plans. And some of them were on me. But first, I had some daily schedule to do. You must wake up at five, then homework, then school, and in the evening... The real work. Every day was a preparation for the future. I had goals. At age 14, a junior assistant in the sorting floor. At 15, a senior assistant. Head of the floor at 24. Replacement for my father at 31. There is no time for doubts. I would do everything for him. Every day. I hated it. I had no one to talk to. I had no idea how. Nowhere to go, and because of that, again and again. But I found a way out. At first, it didn't work out very well. Stupid stories. It's too embarrassing to even think about them. But they gave me the distraction then. Letter from the publisher. An opportunity to leave. And at 18, on my birthday, I decided to do it. Father was furious. He locked me up. He used his educational methods stronger than usual. But it's all in the past. I was able to leave, and that's what really matters. I left all this behind. I found a special girl. That's what's important. We have a wonderful baby. And we lived happily ever after. Until...
We tried as best we could. It was all for nothing. Bills for treatment grew every month. My novel started to get rejected, and in time our money ran out. I got a second job, then started another one. That wasn't enough. But we had a chance. Is he all right? The doctor says that he's stable. Good. Good. Have you taken a nap yet? I didn't have time. The operation just ended. How are you? Work. Uh, the part with the maniac is ready. I will write it in time. Can we get another loan? We are already in debt. They won't give us any more. I just need to finish it and... You can call your father. Mateen, you know we shouldn't do that. I've already spoken to him. He has plans for me, and now he has plans for Oliver. He he will break him. He is a monster. Aiden, I don't care who he is. I don't care even if he has horns in a tail. We're talking about our son right now. <sighs> Listen, if he gives us money, then we won't be able to leave him. Never. No, I... I will sell the book, and we will solve everything. Aiden... Your last work is still in your desk, along with the previous one. How do you know that they'll buy this book? This is all that I have. I promise you, this is my best work. I just need to finish it and everything will be okay. Do you believe me? <sighs> one month, Aiden. Then, we'll call your father. I can handle it. I promise. Just say that you believe me, and I will do everything. One month. Aiden, are you okay? I will leave it all behind. I can work with my father. We can come up with something together. But if only I had a couple more days. Aiden, are you okay? We need to talk. I just need a little more time. The ending is done. I just need to polish it and... Oliver will have his operation. He will be free. Nadine will never understand me. We'll have to break up, but is it worth it? Aiden, are you okay? We need to talk. No, that does not matter. <sighs> Hello, Nadine. 